All these years later, Mary Kay is still bothering me. I like to be educated. What's up, y'all? This video is so off the cuff. Last night, I got an email from Mary Kay. I wish I had my phone down here because I'll leave it somewhere up here when my last video I did about Mary Kay. They contacted me last night due to the time difference because they're in Dallas, right? They're headquarters. And they wanted me to remove a video that I have up. Now, I have had no dealings with Mary Kay in years. Now, I do have videos up from when I was in Mary Kay and so forth and so on. Those videos of me talking about the product, so on, so on, so, you know. Mary Kay products is Mary Kay products. I didn't mind using the products. I didn't mind selling the products. I didn't mind being a part of the whole ecosystem, okay? You know, were you building, you know, a little personal business? Was you selling some decent products? Were you um, helping women? Were you building other women? All the above. I don't have anything negative to say in that aspect. When it came down to, and I think I mentioned it, on how things were just done, I didn't like that. Okay, so prime example, I was doing YouTube way before Mary Kay had came into play. Mary Kay didn't care about you pushing a product, talking about product, wearing the makeup, doing this, doing that. I don't think anybody I know wears a full face of Mary freaking Kay. Okay? Not even their freaking nationals, okay? Wears a full face of Mary Kay. I will never forget, there was this little thing that went out. The nationals that get together, that won their little area or whatever, they were doing a group photo shoot. Now, if you follow the Mary Kay circuit, this was probably about 2016, 15, maybe 17 back then and now if I could find the dates I'll probably throw them up here somewhere they did a photo shoot the photo shoot they were in there having a good time doing what they do you know showing sisterhood all of that you know but then somebody took a spin at the damn makeup table and guess what was on the makeup tear makeup table won't Mary Kay it was Urban Decay, and I'll never forget that because that's when that palette hat came out. The palette, I think it was, I don't think it was the heat, but it was a neutral palette during that time hat came out because one of the Nationals' daughters is a makeup artist. She promotes Mary Kay, but she promotes everything else. And that was the part that killed me was that these Nationals was wearing these matte red lipsticks these liquid lipsticks mary Kay. i don't even make it now i don't i'm not in in the circuit but they was wearing these matte li liquid lipsticks stay all day mary Kay lipstick be moving all around on your lips okay if you ain't got a good lip liner on that mess will be bleeding not talking bad about the product because i wore it and you know you do what you have to do to make it stay now my thing is this a lot of lipsticks do that but my thing is, why are you bothering me in 2023? And then had the audacity to send me a freaking PDF telling me what phrases and words shouldn't be used. So apparently, y'all good doing a sweep through because y'all got some consultants or maybe some of y'all nationals that are putting out videos because they, you know, when I came on, people wasn't really doing YouTube videos in Mary Kay. 
they wasn't even using social media. They was doing the old school, having little parties, inviting people, meeting people in the mall, grabbing them up, and inviting them out on, you know, whatever night was your night at your, your thing. I can't even get the words out. I don't even know the names anymore. The phrases anymore. <laughs> but my thing is, a video that I put up in 2016, you went on the internet, you found the video, and then you asked me to take the video down. You know what? I did. I took it down. Because I don't want no parts of Mary Kay. None whatsoever. I had a really, 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 really bad experience. So, to see that they sent me an email telling me to take it down, any other related videos to take it down, and I had three days to respond if not legal action was going to be taken against me. Legal action is going to be taken against me because y'all put out a new PDF in 2022 and y'all coming after me for something that was done in 2016 when y'all didn't have a clue on how to maneuver on social media. And y'all were trying to figure out if people were going to be saying things about Mary Kay. Now, I'm not saying nothing really, really bad about Mary Kay. It is a pyramid because there's always one up top and you got the people that's drink going down. And I, the whole model, help one woman, help another woman, help another woman. I get it. Sounds great. Feels great. But... When you help one woman, and then one woman feel like, hey, you on your own now. After you done helped her, you on your own now. You know, mm. bring me back flashbacks, bring me back flashbacks. Anywho, anywho, I want Mary Kay to leave me alone. Because I ain't bothering y'all. I'm not bothered. I don't talk about your product. I don't talk about nothing. People watch my videos. They'll say, thank you for the candid video. Or they'll say, I never had a bad experience. Some people come into uh, things like that for friendships. People may not have a life. And I, and, I, and I had to sit back and move back for a minute and look into it. And the people that I might have been around, a lot of people may not have a life and coming into Mary Kay gives them a life and some passive income. Something to do. I didn't, you know, I was looking at it as a business perspective because at the end of the day, I got a life. <laughs> I had a life coming into it. Um, looking for sisterhood, looking for friendship, you know, all those different things because, you know, sometimes, and you know, as you get older, you can get a little settled. Sometimes, you know, if you move away from where you were, you may not have your friend circle anymore. So you're looking for a new friend circle. Again, we're just trying to find something to do to buy time. You know, I, I get it. But my thing is, don't bother me. I ain't bothering you. Don't bother me. And when I did a lot of my videos, you know, I felt, this is just my personal opinion, I felt like, okay, nobody's going to sit and buy, I mean, Mary Kay sells all the products, okay? Just like Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, Makeup by Mario, House Labs, you know, Dior, um, Gucci, I mean, just to name a few. Estee Lauder, everybody has a full line of makeup, you know, from the foundation to the primer to the concealer to the lips to the lip liner to the eyeshadow palettes to the bronzer to the satin powder. Everybody got everything. But who wears a full face of one? I mean, you can because we buy all of it. We do. I have a plethora of makeup. But my thing is, what I was trying to do. And, you know, beat me up. But what I was trying to do was show women that, yeah, you know, you may have your makeup that you have, but here's some other makeup that you might want to try and add into your collection. You know, you have, you know, your foundation, but hey, look at these eyeshadows. They can go too. You know, they may be a fraction of the cost of what you may spend here at Sephora or they might be in between your drugstore and in your high end. Just add in. 
And that's what I was doing. I never forget. And I last night I was due diligently getting the videos off, getting the videos off, right? And I look at the video and I remember saying in the video, ladies, I'm showing you how you can incorporate these products into your everyday makeup routine in conjunction to whatever else you have you know not saying replace everything but here's a good thing because some of the products i really did like i'm not going they lip liners was really really nice i really enjoyed them um one of the foundations i really really enjoyed so i was trying to show that you can mix these products in but they was like oh no you cannot do that you cannot promote no other product first but well, this is my platform i could do what i want to do Second of all, what's the problem? That's still me getting sales within my business. It's like you have a business, but yet you still got a shackle on you because you can't do what you want to do. I don't understand it. Anastasia ain't getting upset because I'm sitting here adding her into what I'm talking about. Freaking House Labs. House Labs ain't getting mad, upset because I'm talking about them when I'm talking about Anastasia. You know what I mean? But, you know, I understand Mary Kay is not so, you know, in a store. It's a whole online thing. A woman, you know, making that personal connection and helping them out. I get it. I get it. But this is why, one of the reasons why I had to remove myself from this, from that. Here I am, 2016, when that video that they sent me a screenshot of. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, seven years later, they bothering me. On a PDF that they produced in 2022. So you're going to punish me for something that I did when y'all had no clue what was going on. And now you're going back. And, you, and meanwhile... You ain't even looking in your records to see that I'm no longer a part of the establishment. I'm not a part of the business. I returned all my product, got all my money back. What, what is the problem? What is the problem? I don't want to draw this out anymore, but I just want to say, Mary Kay, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I took all the videos down. If I happen to come across some more that got, got some Mary Kay and I will make sure those videos get down. I don't want no more problems, but this is the reason why I left Mary Kay. The bullying. The pure bullying. This is exactly why I left. Long as you pushing that product, you making them sales. You got these women spending their freaking mortgage and rent money telling them you got to keep your business going. Long as you keep doing that, you good. You get on the the little newsletter, the little this, the little that. Much ain't changed, apparently, if I'm getting these kind of emails. So, I, I maybe I'm, my thought process is not right. And if it ain't, you know what? I'm getting educated. I just want to be, I just want to be out. I want to be out. Out, 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 out. And I know I said I was going to go. But my thing is this. How are you having a business? And I'm sitting back thinking about the contracts and all the different things like that. They even said in there, you are not abiding by the contract. What contract? I'm not in no contract. I am out. I am out. I've been out. Yes, I slept. <laughs> Excuse me, I had burp. <laughs> I'm keeping that in there. Yeah. I'm just so turned around right now at the fact that they reached out to me all these years later. This goes to show you that social, there's so much power in social media, right? Women of, you know, when I came into, I never forget, there was women that was reporting me because what women were doing was versus talking about Mary Kay, they were talking about building a business, right? 
but they wouldn't say, if you want to build a business and I can show you how to do this, but you wasn't mentioning Mary Kay, that's what the ladies were doing. Join my team, things like that. I can show you, I can show you, but not saying what it is, right? But then showing pictures when Instagram came out, they would take pictures of them in their, um, their director's outfit and things like that. So they sh they're showing you and portraying to you a lifestyle. But meanwhile, they're not saying anything about it. So you're intrigued because they provide you these visuals of a lifestyle. Did that make any sense? The power of social media is crazy. It's crazy. People, even back then, living fake lives, portraying all these different things. And let me tell you something. You get them cars, you gotta work for them cars to keep them cars. Now, as long as you got a downline, not an upline, a downline, People underneath you that's doing what they're supposed to do every month, you keep your car. And you do what you're supposed to do, you keep your car. And you get your commission, you do what you gotta do. Not that, you know, but you, but I can't have, it. and you, you sit back and you think about it. You got you, and you got Susie, Jane, Carol. Jane got a problem. Jane, Jane can't, Jane. Mortgage got to get paid. She like, look, I didn't do good. I wasn't able to, you know, recruit. I wasn't able to even go out and even talk and, and, and get no product. My other people, they don't even want to buy nothing no more because they ain't even use what they had. So, she out. Now, you got these two over here. One is doing good. She's excelling because she, she feels it's burning inside of her. She want to go. You done did what you had to do because you ain't got no choice. This one over here, she like this. But meanwhile, you gotta, you got now you gotta do a little extra because you gotta get everybody. Can't live like that. Can't live like that. Mm -mm. But the thing is to keep recruiting new, keep getting new, keep getting new, keep getting new, keep getting new. Because as long as you got new, it's like fresh. It's like they hungry. It hung, they hungry and they wanna, they wanna live like you. They wanna see you. You run around with director suit on. You got a little pink little Cadillac. You got your car. You got this. They wanna live that life. I'm not in. I'm, I'm not in that. I, I can't. I'm not gonna sit here. Cause everybody ain't. Uh, uh, people are wearing Mary Kay. They are. But I don't want my whole. I don't want my my thing. And all I see is that. I want to see somebody else too. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I just sat here in my mouth for 17 minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> Y'all. I don't believe this. I just don't believe it. I don't. I don't, you can make some really good passive income just like you do anything. Just like prime example, me being on social media, me having my own channel, my own blog, me doing. But guess what? I'm not forcing nothing. My livelihood ain't based on me pushing nobody and me telling nobody you, you know you gotta do your numbers. Well, you know you gotta make an order. Well, you know you gotta do this. Well, just make your order and we'll work together and we'll have a party or something. No. 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 <laughs> I just wanna be left alone. I don't want no more emails. If I get an email on just responding back to what I said to them, that's fine. I only gave them, I think, not even two full sentences. I think I only said was, I ain't even in Mary Kay no more. This video is from 2016. What's the problem? I think that's what I said. Because I, it was like, what, why am I getting this email at nine o'clock at night? Or eight o'clock at night? It was, it, I know it was dark outside. I just don't know. I don't wanna be bullied. And I need to understand why didn't somebody go in the system and look and say, this woman is no longer in Mary Kay. 
let's structure this video a little, I mean, this email a little bit different. Even if you knew that I wasn't in Mary Kay no more, there should have been a different kind of email. Hey, you know, Kelly, we see that you're no longer with the company. However, we do see a video that's up and it was taken during a time when you were a part of so and so and so and so and so. I know you're not long, no longer in it, but we just want to, you know, get this down. Da, da, da. Come at me a little bit different. Come at me a little. And this is legal. Again, legal. Legal. Why? Why? I'll keep y'all updated. I will keep y'all updated. I I'm, I only kept up two videos, I think. Well, I'm still trying to get them down because I got to go in and finish getting them out. But um, I had a playlist for Mary Kay. I really did. I had a playlist. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to rename that playlist and just make it like something with makeup. I don't freaking really know. But... <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just gonna delete the place. The playlist don't even it's it's, it's irrelevant because those videos are placed somewhere else now. But um yeah. All these years later, Mary Kay is still bothering me. I can't believe it. <laughs>